Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert and welcome to this next gear review. This time a stereo microphone of true loveliness. This is the Vanguard Audio Labs V44S. Uh, the S meaning stereo, hence we have two capsules up here. This is not a valve mic like the V13. This is a FET uh, dual diaphragm, quad diaphragm condenser, if you will. Um, and it's stunning. They've really thought about this. As with the V13 before it, the V44S has this rather lovely crafted shock mount, a proper shock mount, I'll have you know, not one of these horrible Chinese OEM jobs. Um, and it's stunning. I love the color. I love the look. But of course, it's all about the usability and it's all about how it sounds. So a quick tour, it won't take that long. Uh, and then a couple of audio examples that I've been using this thing for in sessions of late. But first of all, let's get up close and personal on the V44S stereo mic by Vanguard. So as you'd expect on a stereo microphone, both capsules are the same. Now I'm talking to you into the V44S uh, and I've set it up as a mid side configuration. So the bottom capsule is in cardioid mode and I can switch between cardioid, figure eight and omni using the little switch on the front. And it's worth knowing, because I had to ask, the switch nearest the bottom capsule at the front is the one that controls the bottom capsule. Then around the back, we have another dip switch with uh, cardioid, omni and figure eight. And that controls the settings for the top diaphragm, which I've currently got set at 90 degrees to the um, front facing cardioid and it's in figure eight. Therefore, I can use um, an MS matrix to make myself a stereo signal. So as I go around from one side of the microphone to the other, hopefully you're hearing a very interesting stereo picture. Not as good as it would have been in a room or in a large environment with um, where I would use this for a room mic, but hey, I'm coming to that. The other cool thing that I really like is the party piece, if you will. At the moment, we're set at 90 degrees the two capsules are at right angles to each other. However, if I wring its neck, I can now set both capsules to zero degrees, both capsules facing me. Kind of cool. Why you do that, I'm not sure. There are plenty of people who would probably tell me and you're probably out there on YouTube. So hey, um, if you could think of a reason for having the two of the same microphone capsule pointing towards you, go for it. Um, but it is cool. It's set in 15 degree increments, so I can go 45 degrees all the way up to 90 degrees off axis or opposite to each other for kind of crazy stereo microphone techniques. Now, of course, I can also go bloom line on this thing, so I can whack it at 45 degrees to me, put them both into figure eight, and now we've got a very, very neat bloom line configuration microphone. Very, very cool indeed. I think I'm roughly on 45 degrees. Therefore, we should be getting a nice bloom line kind of image uh, coming out of this thing. Now, one thing that was suggested to me while in uh, 45 degrees configuration bloom line is instead of using figure eight, we use Omni. And now both capsules 90 degrees to each other at 45 degrees to the performance, or in this case me, are now in Omni. Now, I'm assured that this could give some very interesting room sort of miking technique type stuff. And this was the technique that I've used when recording the um, Craxton String Quartet. A string quartet you will hear shortly. Um, all you're gonna hear is the room mic, because quite frankly, the close mics are for another story and probably another review. Um, you're gonna hear the room mics in the back of the church, nice and high, it sounded beautiful in there. Uh, and I think these do a cracking job of picking up that kind of really nice room sound. It's not a defined stereo picture because that's something I would probably use either Bloomline or MS for. But this is a really nice kind of spacey almost, a space as in uh, large area rather than stars and satellites and stuff. Um, it's a really nice kind of spacey, airy stereo image.
The other time we've used this as a room mic was primarily as a room mic for recording drums. Uh, we had a band called Voltaire at a studio session with us at the old smokehouse in East London a couple of weeks ago, and I was using this mic for the primarily for the, the drum room sound, and it sounds incredible. Uh, the drums themselves probably could have done with a little bit more work with regard to tuning and just getting a drum sound, but actually, this thing sounds absolutely awesome on just the room mic, so that's all you're going to hear is the room mics. So one of the things I don't usually like about stereo microphones is the fact that you have to have um, some kind of breakout cable, some kind of Y-split cable to get out of the multi-pin or the encapsulate cable on the microphone down to normal conventional 3-pin XLRs. The um, team at Vanguard have got around that problem with the use of this little box. And I really like it. It's good and solid, good and chunky, um, but it's really neat. Inputs to... The input to this little box is from the V44S on a multi-pin XLR style connector. We then have alternative inputs for mid-side. To be honest, don't really understand these because, quite frankly, this is where the business end is going on. We then have a dedicated output for the bottom capsule, an output for the top capsule, and if you're using this as an MS mic, an output for the top out of phase. So you haven't got to think about putting uh, either a channel out of phase on your console or a channel out of phase in your DAW later on. Um, there's our three channels for our MS. Very, very neat indeed. If we weren't recording MS, just a normal stereo pair, of course, I can drop this one out and just have top and bottom capsules. Now, the thing that often puts people off when it comes to talking about stereo microphones is because everything's doubled up, they assume the price is going to be doubled up. Two diaphragms, two amplifier circuits, um, two lots of cabling, two lots of everything, other than the shock mount and body itself. This thing is incredibly competitively priced. You're looking about $700 for these things right now. Incredible value for what is a beautifully crafted, really thought about stereo microphone. So as with the V13 before it, the V44S is a beautiful piece of engineering. Um, they've really thought about it long and hard to get this kind of swivel mechanism good and solid. It's not a kind of a roundy roundy hope for the best kind of get your angles and then lose them without gaffer tape or anything like that. This thing is beautifully put together. Um, the little touches that I really like are the box, the case, the shock mount. The shock mount's fantastic. It's a proper shock mount. Um, what is there not to love? So there you go, that's the Vanguard Audio Labs V44S stereo condenser microphone. Um, a true piece of audio engineering beauty and one that, quite frankly, I don't want to have to send back. Sadly, I do have to send this one back, but I shall probably be getting another one. That's how much I like this thing and how usable it is um, and how I'm now really enjoying experimenting and playing around with stereo microphone techniques. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon for some more Gear Talk.